Hello. Have you ever opened up your flow cytometer and you've seen something that looks like this? You go, what is this thing? It's got some metal, it's got some tubes, it's got some glass. This is the flow cell. This is the whole fluidics magic. Here we have the bottom, the sample is coming up through here. Our sheath fluid is being injected over here in these two ports. And they're interacting here in this cone. The sheath fluid and the core stream, they don't mix. And that's an important point to talk about. But they pass through this point here. And this is where the laser intercepts the, the fluidics and where the cells are interrogated by the laser. What do they do when they're interrogated by the laser? They block light, we measure forest scatter. They scatter light, we measure slide scatter. They fluoresce, we measure that fluorescence. And then they continue on their merry way, either to be sorted or in a case like this flow cell, out to waste. Now, the reason the sheath and the core stream don't mix is due to hydrodynamic focusing and laminar flow. And here is a typical diagram that we show, and you'll see in many textbooks, of a schematic of a flow cell. Here we have the injection point where an amorphous blob of cells injected at slightly higher pressure than the surrounding core stream, or the surrounding sheath fluid, are focused by the properties of hydrodynamic focusing, and because everything is in laminar flow, into the center of this core stream. And here's where they pass a single file by the laser intercept point. Like I said, sheath, core, they don't mix. And that's important because that means you can take advantage of that. How? Well, one, you can use water for your sheath fluid rather than PBS. Why might you want to use water, you'll ask? I'll tell you. If you're using things like high throughput samplers or your machine isn't run all the time every day, you can get salt crystal buildup, and that can be a pain in the neck to clean up. So instead of using PBS and having that salt buildup, use water. If you're a little concerned about that, or like you have HTS units, you might want to add a little bit of this. 2-phenyloxyl ethanol. What is this? This is a surfactant and a slightly bacterial static agent. 0.1% of this. So this one liter bottle will make up 100 liters of, of sheath fluid. This will get rid of those nasty salt clogs. It'll keep your, your seals and fluidics conditioned because of the surfactant properties. And it'll save you a lot of downtime when you have those clogs. Now remember, sheath sample, don't mix. Interact in the flow cell here. Here's the intercept point. Go, go off and have a great day doing flow.